Hey everyone. So I wanted to do a, a quick follow-up on the uh, Gnarly FPV Subatomic, and uh, thanks to everyone who watched the uh, original video, and a big thank you, of course, to uh, Gnarly FPV for sending me the uh, frame to uh, check out, and also the uh, 16x16 all-in-one JHE MCU that you can see here. So as much as I like the original iteration of this, there were a couple of things that I thought I could improve uh, on my build. Uh, the first one was I was getting uh, quite a bit of video noise with my original setup, especially under throttle. I'd get a lot of horizontal lines. And then also I thought that I could get uh, better performance in flight time from switching to a high voltage battery of the equivalent uh, uh, capacity. And so that's what I've uh, tried out here as well. And uh, in both cases, I think I had uh, pretty good success. So in terms of the uh, uh, video noise, basically I just changed out all the electronics save for the motors and the uh, flight controller. But the uh, VTX and camera are both different. And I also swapped out the uh, receiver, but uh, that won't have anything to do with the uh, video noise. Uh, but uh, So like I said, these are the same motors as before, the Beta FPV 0102 13,500 kV, and then the aforementioned uh, JEG MCU 16x16. And also I wanted to see if I could uh, run a different camera besides the uh, Runcam Nano 4. I wanted to see if something else would fit, and uh, yeah, you can indeed put a uh, Runcam Nano 2 in here, which I actually quite like the uh, picture of. It's quite vibrant and uh, nice to fly with, and also pretty inexpensive. And so if this camera fits, that means you should also be able to fit like a, uh, a Runcam Racer, I think would also fit. And then for the uh, VTX, this was originally what I was running, which is the uh, HTLRC Zeus 16x16 uh, size. So I don't think there's an anything inherently wrong with this uh, VTX. Uh, it has a nice power output up to 350 milliwatts and a microphone. Uh, but for some reason in my installation, I was getting a lot of video noise. And whether it was how I installed it or just this, something about this setup, um, I really... Uh, didn't want to troubleshoot all that noise, so I just decided to try a different uh, VTX. And so I'm just using the one that Gnarly FPV recommends, which is the uh, TVS Unify uh, Nano. So I've just got that in there, and I'll show you how I have it installed in a second. And uh, with this VTX and with the Runcam Nano 2, I was not having uh, any video noise uh, whatsoever, under throttle or really at any other times, just your usual uh, analog noise. So uh, really nice setup now with this, very clean, and also saved a couple of grams in weight over the uh, little HDL or Zeus. And then uh, while I was at it, I also changed out the uh, B-Seaver to a full-size XM Plus, just so I would have uh, no worries about uh, range if I wanted to go a little bit further away. So let me uh, remove the uh, top plate, and I'll show you a little bit how I have the uh, components installed. Okay. Oh, and another thing I changed over the uh, previous version was I went for a uh, lighter gauge wire for the battery connector. So this is a 24 gauge. So with this uh, lighter wire, I could uh, pass it through this little opening that's in the rear TPU mount for a little bit of a cleaner setup. And so here on the top, you can see that's the uh, TBS Unify Nano uh, VTX, and it's just taped to this little uh, TPU uh, platform that I made. It's something I just uh, designed real quickly in Tinkercad, and they just uh, real quickly 3D printed this. So I just wanted a little platform that I could uh, tape the uh, VTX to, and also the receiver is uh, sitting underneath that. So. And then I put the little TPU platform on top of that, and then just taped the um, Unify Nano VTX to the top of that. And that seems to uh, work and be about uh, as small as you can get this set up. And then you can see the uh, installation of the Runcam Nano 2. So it does fit. The wires are getting pretty close back in there, but uh, nothing's too uh, bunched up. And there you can see the XM Plus antennas just using that classic zip tie method for securing those. So that seems to work okay. A much better RF performance than I was getting with the little b -siever. Okay, so there's the uh, top plate back on. Oh, and if you're wondering about this small little VTX antenna, I think I just got that from some Happy Model uh, VTX, but you can use the one that comes with the uh, Unify, no problem. So let me just do a quick uh, weigh-in of this on camera before I get to the uh, battery situation. So let's see. Hopefully you can read that. So... In its current form, coming in at uh, 43.8 grams, so almost 44 grams, so that's pretty good. Basically, it's like the weight of a toothpick, but you've got more um, higher voltage and smaller props kind of a thing. And then if you run a, a 300 uh, high voltage or normal, which is about 19 or 20 grams, it goes up to uh, 62.8. So like I said, that's like a, a toothpick ready to fly weight, so pretty good. And finally, so like I said, I addressed the uh, video issue, and the next thing to try was... Uh, high voltage batteries of the same capacity as non-high voltage. And sure enough, like I was hoping, I got about 30, 30 more seconds out of this high voltage uh, Talon battery. So about three minutes, which I think is a good minimum flight time versus two and a half minutes on this uh, normal voltage uh, 2S300. 
so I think the uh, high voltage uh, is definitely the way to go. And you could say, well, it, maybe these batteries don't last quite as long if you consistently charge them up to a high voltage. But I haven't had too much experience with that being the case. And also these batteries are only $6, so you could just maybe buy a bunch of them. And I haven't done a JESC or 48 kilohertz on this yet, but I could do that and probably add maybe another 10, 20, 30 seconds of flight time. Uh, so I might do that down the road, but uh, for now, I'm very happy that I got rid of the video noise and also very happy with the performance on the uh, high voltage battery. So anyway, I'll show you the uh, one of the flights I had this morning with this current setup. And uh, that's it for now. Yeah, thanks for watching.